out of the crevasse. With it's gone bad. Can't see much. Almost to base camp. Hope Paul has some answers. Alright, G-Star 321 here again. We're back with more Cursed Mountain on the PC. This is chapter 10. Dark spots in the clear light. Let's do it. Probably my most favourite chapter in the game, okay? For the main reason that I've mentioned in the previous chapters, it reminds me of the movie The Thing. You know, if you look at it from here even, for example, it's got the flag there. Looks like the remote ice station, you know. It's got atmosphere, which is what I really love about this chapter. And also we've got this uh, Buddha statue here, okay, so straight away we encounter this, which is good. And I need to use it as well, because I'm on... Oh, not shit health, but I'm on, you know, it's not that good. So let's go ahead and do this. Get the Jomo Menmo Prophecy, the eighth one. Let's have a read of that. So I've got them all so far, which is good. Up, 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 over the frozen tears of the goddess, into the sky, out of the world. Where there were two, now there is none. The treasure is gone and the brother rose, so the curse began. The answer lies above. Okay, so let's get health. There we go. Very happy about that. I've collected all these Buddha statues so far. There's only one more to go. So I'm going to assume it's in one of the... There's only two more chapters after this, so it has to be in one of those two. And I'll be very happy if I manage to get all of them, okay? On a previous playthrough, I mentioned that I, I was missing a few of them, okay? Two or three from memory. Which is quite surprising, because so far they've been very, very easy to find, so... I don't know how I managed to actually miss them, okay? So here we are, inside the base camp. Bit of exploring to be done here. Vases. Incense sticks. Haven't picked up these for a while, the incense sticks, so it's good to sort of get back to them again. Journal. Paul and Ming, my diary note written by Frank. What a bloody waste of time, you whore! Okay, let's have a read of that, Frank's diary. Paul Ward and Mingma have started to see a lot of each other. I don't think he's shagging her. <laughs> Although God knows why not. I know I would. Paul really buys into all that mystical crap though, so maybe he hasn't got the ghoulies for it. Anyway, it doesn't matter so long as she finishes the rituals and gives me the nod to climb. Otherwise, the Sherpas will all clear out and the whole expedition will go up the spout. Okay. Welcome to Chamalonzo Base Camp. There he is. Paul. And blood on the ground there. Another journal here, let's read that. Climbers on the mountain, a list that tracks where the climbers are on the mountain. Scram S missing, last seen on Yellow Rock, da da da, SW Ridge, SW Ridge. Missing after radio contact in high camp, okay. Fucking nothing out of those. Shit. Ghost. Get him before he shoots that projectile, okay? Gotta be quick about taking down these ski ghosts. But not too quick. I mean, when they first appear, you know, they'll start flying around all over the place. Don't go ahead and keep doing this, okay, trying to hit them, you will miss them. You might get lucky, but just wait, do this, and just wait till they're, you know, flying around. When they stand still, bang, go ahead and grab them, okay? That's sort of the best strategy I've found to take care of those ski ghosts. Uh, there was a door back up there, but we can't go through there yet, it's locked, so we need to come this way. Grab the key for it. Though that door is locked. Oh shit, another ghost, alright. Yes. Oh, you fuck! How'd that shit miss you? No. It didn't look like a ski ghost to me, it looked like a regular one, but... They must all be... ...like this now, where they start flying around all over the place. Skiing all over the place, whatever. So there's the key. <laughs> look how big that shit is. 
It's almost the size of his leg. Fucking hell, how's it going to fit in the door? The keyhole. But anyway, these two doors here, this one, power lock, we need to turn on the generator. And same for this one, okay? Power lock. So we can't actually go through there yet. There's a generator which we need to switch on in this level and that will open those doors, then we can go through. Sick beds and medical equipment. Pretty good infrastructure for a base camp. Bennett, mu Bennett must have spent a lot. Okay, let's grab this key. Key looks like it goes with a brand new lock. Alright. Dead climber, decayed beyond recognition. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back and open that door. There you go, activate the generator. Basic supplies. Another journal. There's quite a few journals and books in this uh, chapter as well. Troubles in base camp. Climber thinks about leaving. Since Paul returned without Frank, everything is different. He's very upset, but he won't say why. As for the others, there's fear everywhere. Climbers are going missing. Some have been found dead and not from altitude sickness either. Others have simply disappeared. The weather keeps us locked in the camp. I'm afraid to stay, but I'm af also afraid to leave. I was really stupid to come on this trip. It's a nightmare, not an adventure. Never again. Okay. Moldy plates and rotten food. So, you know, these journals are really good. Especially in this chapter, they explain a lot what's going on. They provide a lot of the story. It's a good design tactic, you know, just putting these written uh, text journals and so on everywhere. Which sort of, you know, gets rid of the need to have uh, a lot of cutscenes and shit, you know. But this game still does have quite a few cutscenes, which is also good. What was that? Rice sacks are soaked through, worthless, okay. <laughs> Another fucking book here. Shopping list, items that need to be restocked. So they're all going to be expedition notes here. Butter, wheat, pickermans, hot sauce, cooking oil, potatoes, coffee, dried chilies. Eh, pretty bland list, but I guess, you know, it's just the essentials. No meat pies, hot chips or anything like that. Sucks. Alright, let's go to the generator now. Turn that shit on. Okay, out here there's going to be a ghost callo where we continually take damage until we make it into the next uh, hut, okay, shack, whatever house. So let's go ahead and do it. There'll be a couple of ghosts as we progress that we need to take care of, okay? Yeah, there's one there. One directly behind me as well. Fuck off! That was. <sighs> Alright, it's fucking. This chapter does have quite a few difficult uh, ghost fights, alright? And I will be using health shrines in this chapter as well. This actually isn't a difficult ghost fight, alright? I'm just fucking getting hit here. Let's progress. There'll be some more. One or two more from memory right here. Hopefully it's just the one. Gotcha. Alright, I think that's it for the ghost, but to stop the call, I just go in here, okay? There we go. What the hell is going on in this room? Shit hanging up on the ceiling. Meat. I could have hit. Oh, there we go. All the food here is spoiled. Okay. Alright, so that's the generator there. Just going to break these vases before I go ahead and turn that on. 
incense sticks, okay? So like I said, this chapter does contain few tough ghost fights and I will be using the health shrines a fair bit, okay? Probably a few times in this chapter because I will be taking damage, okay? Uh, alright, let's go ahead and turn. As soon as we turn this on, a couple of ghosts are going to spawn, alright? Maybe? Yeah, okay, there we go. Two ghosts. Alright. It's good if they sort of stay in that corridor there. You can easily line up a shot with the leg par. Unless they fly out. Yeah, like that one just did then. Not good. Alright, so now this door is open. Let's go through. Phew, rotten meat or something. Alright, so there's a health shrine. Yep, so we'll go through there first. You can either go there or there, but there is where we need to go first. I mean, you don't need to, but we'll get a cool cutscene which will explain a fair bit of the story, okay? Then we'll go in this one. I'm gonna heal here first. Once or twice, I don't know. That should be enough. That's a fair bit of health there. Just use one incense stick. Alright, so it's, uh, you know, this is why I sort of saved up. Let's have a look at my items here. 48 incense sticks. That's that's probably overkill, you know. I'm probably going to finish the game with like 40, 35, 36 or something. But you know, I just it's just comforting to know that I have that many because I will be taking some damage in this chapter and the next few as well. Oh yeah, okay. So there's one of these invisible ghosts until you, you know, turn put the incense stick on. Christ. Sometimes you can get lucky and you'll just walk through the first set of incense, but you know, sometimes you've got to light them all up. There he is. Get your ass back here. There we go. Mr. Bennett says you'll help with the rituals. Is that right? Yes. I help. I am mountain. I am goddess. Rituals make you ready. Not alone, not gentle, not make her angry. Still now. How many more rituals are there? Almost all done. I start the climb tomorrow. Next ritual, last one. At last, the final ritual. You're beautiful. Please, no. Stop. Now. I cannot. You bloody well can. You bloody well will. I love a man. I no longer goddess. I not mountain. I leave today. We're doing this whether you like it or not. Finish or not, no matter. I not mountain. You need another. Don't go. Begin again. Goddess not forgive. What a bloody waste of time. No. You whore. No. 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 Stop there. Okay, so there we go. 
Let's have a look around here before we get out of here. Bennett's killed uh, Mingma Yangtze by the looks of it. Small altar covered with ritual items. Pretty fancy statue for a base camp. Oh yeah. Incense. That's a really big altar. Something strange was going on up here. That might be Frank's bell still. Frank's a good old bell. Alright, let's get out of here now. Nothing left. <laughs> they love their meat. Rotten meat on hanging hook survival horror games, don't they? I mean, what is it? Let's have a look. Lots of meat, pig... Even pigs' heads. Okay, so they're all pigs. Pigs' heads, pigs' meat, pigs' bodies. Yeah, you know, they love putting uh, spoiled meat hanging up and flies and shit in a lot of survival horror games, okay? Another notable one that comes to mind is Resident Evil 4 in Chapter 5-1. You come to a section where it's sort of like this, you know, there's meat and shit, flies. And if you zoom, if you actually get in really close in Resident Evil 4 in that chapter and you you know, zoom in on the body, you can see maggots galore just eating away at it, okay? Um, I can't remember what other survival horror games have this, but I'm sure there's there's been heaps, I mean, I wouldn't say it if there wasn't, okay? Alright, so we'll break this, get the incense stick, ghost right behind us to take care of him. Ah, oh, you fuck. <laughs> Where the hell are you? What are you doing? Come in here. Grab this incense stick. What the hell? It's fucking... Alright, I think I was glitching him because I was standing in that little corridor there. Let's take care of him. Alright. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 has a lot of this shit as well. Okay, hanging meat, spoiled meat and stuff. Pretty much all the Resident Evil games sort of have that in some regard. Alright, so now these uh, previously locked doors are open, okay? As you can see, the green light above them. Turn the generator on so we can go through. You were dead claimers. Did anyone here in BC survive? Dead climbers, you can have a look at them. Death certificate died abruptly with no previous signs of illness. Death certificate, cause of death unknown. What the hell? Why did it do that? Just did a flash, flashy thing then. I don't know why. Anyway, let's get out of here. Um, there's nothing around there, okay, so I'm not going to waste any time running there. No vases to break, so we'll just continue on up here. Okay, this is going to be a tough ghost fight coming up here. Alright, as I progress forward a little bit, we're going to get a small cutscene with about seven or eight ghosts I believe it is and Eric will run into that hut there okay and we're gonna have to take on the ghost so let's go ahead and do it run, run. Don't look behind you. very very tough fight here okay if you lose control of it they will overwhelm you alright so leg par this shit up big time don't even move from your position, okay? When you start, here we go, bang. Straight into the compassion rituals, okay? Don't waste any time trying to move around or run to a better position, okay? This is the best position to take care of them when you first start. And you can easily take care of them like so, okay? After performing each compassion ritual, you know, like I've said previously, the ghost will be stunned for a little peri brief period of time, you know, one or two seconds, which will give you time to quickly shoot the leg par again at the next one and take care of him, okay? Shit, see? So I missed one, you know, very dangerous if you miss one, they can easily close in ground on you. So what's that about four? This will be the fifth one. Can't remember if there's seven or eight, but there's 
There's a fucking lot of them, okay? Just keep going. Shit, hesitated there for a little bit, managed to get that one. Try not to fuck up these compassion rituals either, okay? I don't think I've fucked up a single one in this uh, in these walkthrough videos, okay? I've done really, really good in that regard. But if you fuck it up, okay, if you go the wrong path or you take too long to complete them, uh, it will sort of cancel it and you'll lose health, okay? And the ghosts, um, I don't think they stagger, I think they can quickly close in ground on you, okay? So it's very dangerous if you fuck up at one of those compassion rituals there. But I managed to get through that without taking any damage, okay? So that was pretty sweet. But, you know, if you're not prepared for that fight, you can easily become overwhelmed. Which is what happened to me the first time I did that fight, okay? I wasn't ready for it. I think I ran in here or something, and then I just... I don't know, I backed myself into this corner or something and the ghost just came at me and fucked me up, okay? So, yeah. Alright, let's pick up this book. Power down, a climber switches off the generator to protect the camp from ghosts. Okay. They came from everywhere and so suddenly I think they are stirred by the noise we make. The generator runs so loud it disturbs their spheres so they emerge from their own dimension and hunt us down in ours. I had to do something. Everyone else in camp was just talking. So I snuck over to the genera generator and I shut it off. With it being silent the onslaught will stop. It must stop. It, has, it all has got to stop right now. <laughs> Sounds like that guy was losing his fucking mind. Alright, so it's shut off, okay? He's powered it down or broken it, whatever. Let's get out of here now. Oh shit, I have to go through the other door. What is the point of that? Like, god fucking hell. Basically, that door will lead to the same area where this door is gonna take us, you know what I mean? Like, just make it openable. What's the difference making us running through this one? Anyway, you know, whatever. Okay, we need to go through there. That is the next step, but first of all, I'm going to go through this way. There's a health shrine here. If you, you know, took some damage from that ghost fight we just had, you can go ahead and heal, but I'm not going to. There'll be a ghost in this toilet here, Portaloo. Yeah. Alright, so let's take care of him quickly. There we go. Camp's toilet, no need to go in there. Shit, but I wanna. What's in there? Looks like blood and. There isn't even a toilet there. There's not even a hole. Oh, is that a hole? I don't know. Looks like a shadow to me. Whatever. Alright, so we'll go right here first. There's a few things to have a look at and a journal. And I believe there's some ghosts as well that we need to fight here. Just go in here first. Backpacks and other basic mountain gear. Pick that shit up. There we go. Rescue by helicopter. A climber says a rescue helicopter is on the way. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so the next two chapters, the last two chapters in the game are great. Okay, I love it. It's basically just, you know, climbing massive mountains making your way to the top and you're in a high altitude suit okay he's got like goggles on like a mask oxygen bottles it's really good stuff so let's have a look at that I hear a hot helicopter at last we'll get out of this accursed camp just in time too climbers are going missing climbers are also dying I haven't left tent the tent in two days for fear of what might happen soon I will return to France and my beloved Simone I don't think I'll ever do this again. Okay, so basically we need to make our way... Yeah, recover high altitude equipment at the crash site. That's the next objective, okay? So that's what we need to do now. A few ghosts I think will be here. Yep. Take care of them. I probably shouldn't have came here. There's absolutely no reason to taking care of these ghosts. Spawning them, okay? There's no items here. No more books, uh, I'm not sure. Shit. 
Alright, I'm gonna have to use that uh, health shrine after this fight. Just fuck myself up there. Alright, so it's taken care of. There's nothing to do here. Like I said, I'm not sure why I started this ghost fight. Maybe just to show you guys what happens, but you know. Don't bother doing that, okay? There's nothing to get there. So now I'm going to have to use an incense stick. Go ahead and heal myself. That's okay. This is the second one I've used in this chapter, so... <laughs> Still got 48, which is heaps. Alright, so we'll go in that door there to the left. And progress. Fucking hell. Look at how stupid that is. Look, I'm stuck on a fucking invisible... An invisible twig. I can't... <laughs> Shit. Oh, God. I love it. Look at that. Oh, okay, now I can go through. So what, what was blocking me? He couldn't... He couldn't run over that two centimeter high mound of snow there? Fuck. Hell. I love this game, you know, it's got great atmosphere, but just small things like that sort of fuck it up, you know. You made it. Wish they just polished it a bit more. Hey, Bannon, at last. Wait, what, what are you doing? Bennett, eh? Alright. The radio is receiving an automatic SOS signal, but I can't tell where it's coming from. There was a journal. Let's pick that shit up. This journal. Eric Simmons to the rescue. <laughs> Radio transmission transcript. Okay. Paul must have just written that. Radio transmission transcript. Bennett here. Eric Simmons has met with the abbot of Daige Gonchen Monastery and is now climbing towards base camp. Be prepared to help him with high altitude equipment so he can go higher and rescue Frank. This is Bennett. Over and out. Okay. Bennett. Alright, so we need to go through there, but that door is locked at this stage, okay? We need to activate the generator back this way and turn it on. Oh, it's not really a generator, it's more a a button, but uh, let's pick this journal up first before we do that. Other climbers are wimps. Diary note written by Frank, okay. I can't believe these wankers pay to climb almost to the top. Bugger that, if I get the chance I'm going all the way. Okay, so Frank's a bit of a risk taker. They're all empty. Alright, let's go ahead and... So it's not a generator, it's more a button, okay, which you press, okay. Which will activate that door, it's like a buzzer. It only lasts for about, oh, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. After that, it shuts off. So if you don't make it to the door in time, the buzzer will stop and you'll have to go back, which is what I'm going to have to do here, because it's a fucking ghost. Alright. Alright, so I'm not going to make it in time. I'm just going to run back, okay? The buzzer will shut off. Yeah, there you go. So just turn it back on again. Restart the 20... Or maybe it's 25, 30 seconds. I'm not sure. Feels like a little while. But we should have plenty of time now to make it to the door. There we go. Paul. Paul. Where are you? Where are you? All right, so we need to go down that way. Uh, Where is he? Still at the weather station. On his way here. All right, back this way. There is one of these Wrath of Ekajadi statues. All right. Um, I find this to be rather pointless because like I said I use the leg par a lot okay it might be good for the boss fight we do actually have a boss fight to deal with pretty much coming up soon but um I'm just gonna ignore that statue for now okay I'm gonna go up here to the right where these vases are okay all right so basically this isn't the way to go but down there, as you can see, is the crash site there, if you can sort of see it in that blizzardy snow there. Uh, that's where we need to go. 
Alright, and that's where the high altitude equipment is. But first, I'm just going to go up here because there is a diary from memory. Alright, and a health shrine if you need health. And, you know, just another area to explore, which is what I like doing. Nothing. All right, let's grab this book diary. Weather report: dangerous blizzard coming. The radio operator tries to warn about the storm. All right. Instruments show a dangerous storm approaching fast. Frank and Paul are still on the mountain. They need to descend immediately. I've tried to warn them, but they are not responding. I'll wait for the next agreed transmission window at 2 p.m. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, we've got a ghost caller now. Over there is a health, another health, sh health shrine, sorry, if you need to heal. But we've got a couple of ghosts that we need to take care of here first. Just, uh, leg part of the shit out of the... Oh, fuck off. There'll be one behind me as well. One behind me. It might also be wise to heal to full health or close to full health for this part, okay? Because we do have the boss fight coming up now. Once we go to the right there where the crash site is and recover that equipment. First of all, I am going to go back and get that Wrath of Ekajadi. Because I'm going to be using the Keeler, okay? As opposed to the Corlo weapon here, okay? Callo weapon is great because pretty much you can shoot it anywhere, it will still hit the boss. Uh, like all boss fights, okay, but I'm going to use the Keeler because it's more powerful damage. And on my previous playthrough of this chapter, I sort of took care of him. No problem with it, so I'm just going to use that. Oh shit. <sighs> Fucking hell. And, uh. Hopefully, by getting this Wrath of Ekajadi the boss will take even less to take down, okay? But there will be a lot of few ghosts surrounding him from time to time during certain parts of the boss fight, okay? So when they when those uh, ghosts come around, just uh, fuck them off with the lag par, okay? Don't bother using the keeler. But I'm just worried that this... See, you can see how my weapon's glowing now, indicating that it's doing more damage. I'm just worried that it's going to run out, okay? I hope it doesn't, otherwise it just makes this... Bennett, pointless. What are you doing out here? The term uphold! Go back up and get it! No. There's another thousand in it for you! I can. Eric Simmons is lost out there. I'm guiding him in. Forget Simmons! Let him die, just like his brother. Uh, I'll make it to 10,000. Bastard, Bennett. Alright, so pick this up to initiate the boss fight. High altitude climbing equipment, high altitude climbing gear, including down suit, crampons, oxygen mask and bottles. So we'll wear that in the next chapter, but let's hit space and start this boss fight. Alright, so some ghosts straight off the bat, leg par the shit out of them. Oh, fuck. I have a feeling my Wrath of Ekajadi empowerment is going to run out before I even encounter the boss, okay? Fucking annoying, okay? Jesus Christ. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Shit. Lost control there a bit. Okay, I gotta try and focus here. God! I think they have a lag par as well. That shit fucking dragged me in. Alright, this is actually the hardest part of the boss fight, okay, taking care of these three ghosts. The rest should be doable. And what do you know, my Wrath of Ekajadi's finished. Claim us, Log. 20,000. 
300 feet. You seduced Mingma. She abandoned the rituals. When Frank went up there, it was like raping the goddess. I didn't seduce her. We fell in love. You can ask her. Her amulet? You killed her. Mingma! So it's fucking Bennett, okay? So let's uh, go ahead and kill him with the keeler. He'll just fucking fly around all over the place, okay? You can easily just take care of him with the keeler. Oh, you... Alright, there we go. Three shots. Be another ghost fight now. Every few shots this will happen, okay? He'll spawn a few ghosts to hopefully switch out to the leg part immediately. Don't fuck around, okay? Take care of them. Do not focus on the boss, Bennett. I think it's Bennett. Fucking his voice sounded like Bennett. Oh shit, that was not good. I'm really nervous here because I'm not on a comfortable amount of health, okay? I reckon two more hits from shit and I'll die. Alright, switch out to the keeler again. Alright, couple... Oh yeah, he does this lightning shit as well. Forgot about that. Supposed to move while he's charging up. Okay, oh shit, ghosts. Let's take care of them. Just be careful of that lightning. From memory, it's quite damaging. Hopefully I won't get hit by it. If you can get the ghosts into these compassion rituals... Yeah, he's going to do it, so I'm going to start moving actually. Alright, let's take care of that ghost. If he's doing the lightning directly on you while you're going through these compassion rituals, it's sort of like an invincibility frame, okay? You won't get hit, which is good, but it's it's so easy to dodge anyway. It's, it's just, uh, fucking hit that shit. There we go. And that's it. Let's go ahead and perform the rituals on him, and that should be it, okay? He's got some confusing rituals going on, okay, especially the last one. I mean, this one's easy, this one's easy, but the next one's a fucking nightmare, okay? So just take your time, go around the outside first, then make your way inwards, okay, like so. And that's it. And he's dropped an upgrade to the weapon as well. It's an upgraded callo weapon which does some more damage which is really good. So I'll probably be using that for a couple more. I won't be using it on ghosts but for the final boss fight I will definitely be using this. So that's it. Let's hit space to end the chapter. Empowerment. The, oh let me have a read of it. Empowerment that transforms the callo into a true tool for subjugate blah blah blah. Okay whatever. Climber's log. <laughs> 23,600 feet. <laughs> Using oxygen now. Not enough at base camp. <sighs> so I'm already low. More at high camp on Southwest Ridge. <sighs> One make it there. <sighs> Need another or two bottle. Fast. <sighs> Alright, so that is it. We will leave it there. And these remaining two chapters are fucking great, okay? It's just scaling mountains in these massive blizzards here. But uh, yeah, we'll leave it there, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.